The Polaris Dawn mission has been delayed twice now, the first time due to a ground side helium leak and last night due to weather. SpaceX wrote due to unfavorable weather forecasted in Dragon's splashdown areas off of the coast of Florida, we are now standing down from tonight and tomorrow's Falcon 9 launch opportunities of Polaris Dawn. Teams will continue to monitor weather for favorable launch and return conditions. And it's important to keep in mind that the return is just as important. Polaris Dawn is slated to be a five day mission and the weather is just as important on the way back as it is on the way up. Jared Isaacman wrote, our launch criteria is heavily constrained by forecasted splashdown weather conditions. With no ISS rendezvous and limited life support consumables, we must be absolutely sure of re-entry weather before launching. As of now, conditions are not favorable tonight or tomorrow, so we'll assess day by day. As Elon mentioned, Polaris Dawn is a challenging mission with critical objectives, so we'll wait for the best opportunity to ensure success. Sometimes the hardest journeys require the most patience and we're ready to wait for the right moment. We know many have traveled to see the launch and we're grateful for your support. So right now we're still waiting for the next possible launch date, but better safe than sorry. But shortly after the second delay of Polaris Dawn, SpaceX had a successful Falcon 9 launch minus the first stage booster tipping over following a touchdown on a shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. Now this is incredibly rare for SpaceX. In fact, they decided to stand down from their second planned Starlink launch of the night to give their team time to review the booster landing data from the previous launch. Elon says now we figure out what went wrong to drive the landing failure rate far above one in a thousand, then one in 10,000, one in a million, etc. But this is the first time in more than three years that SpaceX has missed a booster landing. Eric Berger writes, my take on the Falcon 9 landing failure, it's awesome to see SpaceX take risks to test hardware limits. They will learn so much and an ethos of failure tolerance like this is accelerative. It's critical for Starship landings. Humans one day will be landing this way. So a lot going on in the space world, honestly, too much to keep up with, but We'll keep our eyes open and I will be covering the Polaris Dawn launch whenever that happens.